So, uh, this is a blue-white Urza affinity list. I found this from one of the challenges, I believe. It really tickles my fancy. I've played a lot of these decks uh, over time, and this seems like a nicely polished version of it. We're playing Thought Monitor and Thought Cast and Urza. 21 lands, 3 Spring Leaf Drum, 3 Mem Knight, so not too many of the low-value cards. And we've got Esper Sentinel and Ingenious Smith in here. Ingenious Smith with tons of things to hit. Uh, n only one Sea Chromacos in the mana base. Big fan of that. We've got four Razor Tide Bridge and three Dark Steel Citadel. Uh, Razor Tide Bridge is always a bit eh, but uh, let's find out. Let's go in there, mix it up, and see what we do. Go old school and play Greater Good and Gorgeous Vengeance. Karen Lich, this this cover's not doing it for me. I, I can't I can't deal with the, the, the disparate voices. Can't. This is, that was very uncomfortable. Yeah, with Gorios there was always the uh the, the you hack it and you just get the creature to die. All right, good opening hand. Not insane, but that's fine. Okay, the normal songs are not stream safe. I mean, that's fine. I, I don't mind uh, grotesque lyrics. They won't end up on YouTube anyway. Siege Rhino plus every elemental plus AO mid range. Ooh. Well, that's annoying. Oh, no. Hammer time. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I can't just hand them a bunch of cards because it's too easy for them to draw Sigarda's Aid into Hammer or Pure Steel. Didn't have a portable hole in the opening. Right. Oh no! No, we're, we're wrestling for... Oh no, you fell into me! <laughs> They got a hammer, which I, I assume means I'm dead here. Uh, but we have a portable hole in hand. Yeah, and this is blue blue white artifacts versus hammer time. Yeah, you versus the guy she told you not to worry about exactly. Alright, so we're gonna take a big hit. Really? I guess this makes sense. So if I block, do they just not play the hammer? Like, is that the is that the play here? Right, I'm not blocking. To force them to hammer. They didn't hammer. Wild. Probably two hammers in hand. Yeah, at which point what I should do is play Portable Hole and Esper Sentinel this turn. The problem is... That works. I can do that. So I need another blocker, and then we take away their Sigarda's aid. Yeah, we're taking the cigar to say. You'll have enough chump blockers to turn this around. We'll, we'll see about that. Rude. Yeah. 
So I don't have enough blockers anyway. So let's go Springleaf Drum into Sentinel. Also, if I had sequenced the Sentinel up first, I could have gotten a card draw there. Should have done that probably. I mean, I'm just not blocking. There's, there's no point. They have double hammer. I'm dead. If they don't, I'm not. Oh, there's Ting Fang One. Yeah, yeah. The the player with more experience and most things than me, chiming in with the helpful comment. Thanks, friend. One hammer. Just put the second hammer on the stack. It's okay. I'm not playing solitude. What are you doing? Oh, is it? Is this lethal? It's not. Interesting. But this put me to what? Oh, no, it didn't. What? Oh, why did they? What? What? Whatever. All right. Um. Do I want a construct? Yeah. We got to eat their spell bomb. Sick. And then we make our construct bigger. Then we pass the turn. Cut it. Imperdo. Cause I'm a laser baby. So why don't you kill me? Pure steel paladin. Yep. It's fine. Okay. Does, doesn't have flying anymore. A chep block it or do I bounce it? Bouncing is a much more limited resource. Pretty sure I'm supposed to chump here with the Smith. Smith might be better than Esper Sentinel right now, though. Oh, but it, yeah, it's not an artifact. I want to keep these growing. Yeah, all right. Might have been better to have played the Saga last turn. I wouldn't say there's any cards I'm excited for from Bro. Uh, but there's cards I'll play with. Could it? Play Nettle Cyst. They should have moved the um They should have moved the hammer back on the sentinel. They missed the thing. Uh I could play another springleaf drum now, right? If I do this, they have not enough to kill me. I still have the spell bomb if I need it.
So go eat this, jump this. Pay for it. Pay for it. Yes. Hey, opponent. Manalik. Here's where they draw another hammer anyway. Got him. Great draw. Oh! Full rot. Oh, I have lethal. <laughs> I totally would have missed it. I was going to sit here and be like, mm, how do I survive the next turn most optimally? All right. So, thank you, Metallic Rebuke. Let's get these dispatches in here. Hipping needle. And uh spell pierce. Don't need relic. Apparently we can go toe to toe with them on the battlefield. Let's cut an Urza. I think that's okay. An Urza, a Rebuke. I know Rebuke just saved us there. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think it's super likely to happen again like that. Maybe one Pierce is good enough with the dispatches coming in. Uh, is it is the card called Arms Race from... Uh... Compadres! It is imperative from that we crush Brothers the freedom War? fighters that before the start nuts. of the rainy season. And remember, a shiny new oh, donkey for whoever this. brings me the head curve. of Colonel Montoya. Uh, thanks for the follow. Steam and sequins. Turn one hammer. So they have a palafin in hand and they want to get that going on too. I think I'm supposed to portable hole the Thopter. Because Thopter gets used for um, Springleaf Drum and etc. I'm 100% sure someone can tell me I'm wrong to do that. But it's so unfortunate. Okay. Cauldra, sure. I've still got BTL in the title. Thank you. Thank you. A portable hole. Bear Connoisseur with the uh, killer classical or orchestral music. Good chase of basic land art. Yeah. Yeah. This is not my favorite island, but it's up there. The island uh, from in, its uh, invasion.
So it's gonna be really sad when they force me to play Dispatch and it's literally tap target creature. Um, because they're gonna go like pure steel, small artifact, boot up ink moth, attach hammer, attach cauldra, and attack me, and I'm gonna have to dispatch it just to tap it. But that's where we're at to survive. Okay, they go drum pure steel. Nope. Oh, pure steel. Okay. Okay, I think I need to get spring leaf drum here. What is happening? Are they pathing? Oh. Well, that's rude. I can't, I don't, I don't think I can make a token here. If I make a token, there's just such a high chance that I die. Yeah. Can't do it. Uh, good draw. Very good draw. I wanted to draw a zero mana artifact, and I did. Oh, I should have taken the... I thought I hadn't... Yeah, I'm down a land because I lost the... That's on me. I misplayed there. I should have taken the uh, Citadel so I could have an untapped land next turn. That's on me. And this also means my dispatch isn't on yet, still. Although they keep drawing air, so that's good. Yeah, not threatening. Yeah, that's fine. All right. We we all right. We did all okay. Doing okay. Oh. I th still think this turn I'd rather play the Razor Tide Bridge. They haven't shown me that they have a way to trample yet, but I don't think tap uh, getting off of the uh, dispatch yet feels safe. I think we're just going to hold that. Next turn we go Darksteel Citadel, Urza, Thought Monitor, and, and basically the game ends. So as long as I don't lose this turn, should be good. Goes to combat. Does a nothing. Trigger. Why does Urza have old timey art? Uh, this exists in paper only in foil. Uh, yeah, old, well, I'm gonna get the old board of thought monitors. I'm gonna get the old border, everything that I can. Two, okay. I'm going to make the statement that old frame Urza is goaded, uh, and I'm going to be very disappointed in myself, but. And here comes the Metal Cyst. Urza makes constructs and not goats? Rats. What's wrong with foils? Uh, they tend to curl. They're not great for tournament play for the most part. That's. They're thicker too. I always double sleeve. I can I can tell the difference. I can feel them. So what I could do here is block the germ token, dispatch the uh, Esper Sentinel, and then.
I guess I don't even have to block this, do I? Or I could just group block it for safety. I kind of like group block for safety. Yeah, it doesn't have trample, so like I don't. And I have a dispatch, so it's like I don't really have to play around a hammer here. We'll see how they stack up the. They put the construct in front. Okay. Nope. They're gonna put yeah the two sentinel the the two smiths in front. I want what I want to do here is dispatch the Esperson. I think I just lose the two smiths here. It's fine. As long as we stay in this game, we're fine. This dispatch keeps me in this game. This way, I lost zero artifacts in play. Doesn't feel great because Ingenious Smith, again, as I said before, is one of my favorite cards. Period. Just ever. Freaking love it. All right, let's swell the team. Oh, I should have played Smith first, but whatever, it's fine. Another Sentinel? Or another Mem Knight? Well, I need the... I don't want to play Tells. Let's just take another Esper set and we'll play it next turn. I'm not going to play it this turn. Alright, attack for eight. March. Okay. Should I counter that? No. No, I don't need to do that. We're still gonna still in the driver's seat here. Whoops. That yeah, okay, that was not something I meant to do. I think it'll be alright. So they can't pay for rebuke here. Apparently they have a hammer, I would guess. I'm going to play another Urza next turn anyway. Yeah. So we'll do that. Okay. Could be mana leak. Yeah, uh, that's fine.
We are okay against Mana Leak here. Second Sentinel. Save the Memonite to grow the Smith next turn. Should I spin Urza once here? I guess I can. So it's actually, there's a reason to play the Mem Knight this turn. It's going to three. I guess rather than tapping the Mem Knights, I could tap the Sentinels because I'd rather chum with Mem Knights. That makes sense. Another Memnite. Yay! I love Mox Sapphire. So they have six mana. Can almost equip Cauldra. Mox Sapphire is an okay card. I mean, how how is that stupid, Kaya? I'm not sure I understand. One card in their hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and block the Nexus. Let the Thopter through. Serial numbered. There's 500 of them, they'll be very money? Interesting. Is this a thing? Okay, so we let that resolve and target. And this dispatch I've been holding on to forever gets to do its thing. Got him. Opponent apologized for their terrible plays, and I said, don't worry, everyone's got to learn sometime. Assuming we're playing a real modern deck in the real modern format, having no plan with that hand was not going to be good enough. This is so bad if Portable Hole doesn't have text. But I'm going to bottom a Portable Hole and keep this. Okay, that's a good sign. Is it is it Merfolk? They also multi six, so we'll see. Oh, the Crab Gang. Gotcha. Okay. See if I need to portable hole twice. Yeah, we're we're very dead this game, I would assume. Tasha's is horrible against me. That's true. I still think I'm gonna be very dead. This is why I sequence this way.
Drown? Okay. We could take this. Urza's bringing in some big boys. I'm definitely going to get all the old frame cards I need for this list uh, when Bro comes out. Except for the Urzas. So frustrating. Second round, of course. Okay. Tasha's. Nine cards in exile. Hit two thought monitors. They're pre-ordering for four dollars on four one and face to face. Huh? What are? I was looking at. I have a face to face the uh, cart set up with. Uh, somewhere. Oh, Emery, Emery, just the Emerys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're they're in my bin. They're in my uh, they're in my. What do I want to say? They're in my uh, shopping cart. Yeah, the the monitors are for, but that, that that doesn't bother me at all. All right, we got a saga going. All right, that's something. I have seventy four items in my cart currently. Did I see the artifact lands with the old borders? I'm pretty sure. Oh, they're not in my cart, but they will be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's my Dark Seal Citadels. And I'll get the, the tap land as well. Do you have to search for Saga? You do not. It's recently come up. Oh, you do. Huh. I didn't do it and no one called on me and I was sitting right next to a judge. Hilarious. Is that a draw one? Yep, they just played one blue draw card. Well, luckily they don't, um, like, even if they had traps in hand, they they have enough mana to hard cast them anyway, so it's not like we're dodging a bunch of traps right now. Something has really stymied their progress here. Cycle fractured set. Okay. I don't think there's too much in Brothers War that's like super, super big deal or pre-order. Surgical my Urzas. All right. Are you a mill hater freak? I guess when you were uh, giving me... Oh, thank you so much for the feedback on the Prison Tron list, by the way. And then uh, I, I did I did notice you're like, I don't know what Kozlek's doing this sideboard. I'm like, well, that's for mill. Ter terrible matchup for Prison Tron, mill. So you, you need whatever points you can get, I feel like. 
And then it's reasonable against... Yeah, I, I get it. And it, it's reasonable against... Uh, it's reasonable against control decks as well. So I guess I get Relic here to block future Visions of Beyond. Also, they're dead in two hits, and I just drew a Mana Leak. Which, they have a lot of mana, but... This is a one blue draw one again? Resolves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My opponent played opt without a scry. Well, as as you freak, don't make fun of the fact that my voice is all high and pingy. And your voice is so smooth and radio hosty. Tasha's. I have 20 cards in my library. There are two thought casts and two thought monitors. I think I'm letting that resolve. Yeah, they only hit nine cards again. I have a playset of core, core 20 foil Mystic Forge. Should I offload them and get retros? That's what I would do. I, you do whatever you like, but that's what I would do. So Spell Pierce, Meddling Mage. And Teferi. Cut. Shadow Spear, Spell Bomb. I mean, I you're right, Freak, but at the same time, like, um, the tournament I played this weekend was 31 players. There was exactly one Breach player, but they were in the finals. One Breach player. Should you not count for Breach in your sideboard? Just because there were, like, I don't know, three or four Merktide players and, like, five different four-color domain players. Or five-color domain, domain players. Domain, just domain nonsense players. Like, it's just such a... I think if you're playing a deck with, like, just a terrible mill matchup, that you have, like, the choice of... Probably for Breach will have splash damage against other decks. Well, in in, in my case, playing the Kozilek, I've hard hardcasted against... Uh, I've hard casted against uh, control players. Is that not worth... I think I just need bodies, Greer World. I just, I want the most aggressive, disruptive configuration I can get here. So I think I want to cut an Urza and a Talisman. And a portable hole. Oh, the dispatch. I don't need, I don't need the, I don't need this many removal spells. And... Maybe we'll go down to just the one Teferi. Yeah. yeah. I guess playing a third TKS would be fine there, too. Although, uh, what's his name? Bafo? Something Bafo? They, I don't think their list has any... Uh... I'll keep this. I don't think their list has any um... Eldrazi, does it? Opponent mulls to four. Okay, well, we're probably getting a win here. So 
So I want to fetch as early as possible in the game. It was it's two TKS, but was was they did they have an Eldrazi? Oh, I, I should have gotten this tapped. I guess it it's bluffing. Bluffing. Your life toes irrelevant. I mean, I'm aware of that. It's still wrong. Like, I mean, no big... Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, they're not playing one. They're not respecting Mill. Not that this random person that I don't know at all is the uh, authority on what to play in your Prison Tron deck, but... No, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I understand it completely what you mean, Freak, and it's just, like, one of those things where it's, like, if it's such a wash anyway, I, I guess you have the, like, that single sideboard card, I feel like it ups your win percentage by a pretty gross amount. Do I just let the Surgical resolve? I think so. Yeah. Um, like, it increases your post-board potential against Mill by a huge amount, whereas, like, using that slot on a lot of, a lot of other things, it's like, it's not going to increase those matchups by as much. But if you're such a dog to Mill anyway that you're, like, 10% in game one and, like, 15 to 20% in game two, three, it's like... I get your point. I get your point. Flipping Fatty's off Urza is the best. God, I love that. Do I counter this crab? Probably. Specifically because my next couple turns are tele like telegraphed. Um, in that I'm just going to be making saga construct uh, construct tokens. Yeah, Hullbreaker Horror off of Urza is the greatest thing ever. I, I would, Kaya. It's really good. Have you been playing it online? It's really good. It's it's good. I'll rule it. Getting springly from here. So I can play Thoughtcast or I can play Smith. I guess next turn because if I if I thought cast well, yeah, because if I whatever I draw, I can't use it. Yeah. What's also whatever I draw isn't useful this turn. So if I draw, say, a spell pierce or, or a metallic rebuke, I can't cast it. So it doesn't like getting the Smith on the board is definitely the, the way to do it. There's a reasonable shot that next turn I just have lethal. With Teferi to bounce the Hedron Crab. There is no more shot that I have lethal. I got fatal push. But that's okay. We'll just we'll just kill him on two turns. I don't need to kill him with one. We're gonna draw land. So we're not going to draw land, but we're going to go Talisman. Pull 
portable hull. Better than lands? Pretty much. Ah! <laughs> of course, it doesn't really matter because they're they haven't been drawing any lands since they played the crab. It has triggered zero times. So Compadres, it is kind of imperative okay. that we crush the freedom fighters before the start of the rainy season. Thanks for the follow there, Stavros five hundred nine. Donkey for whoever brings me the head of Colonel Montoya. Spell Pierce is real. No, Spell Pierce is not real, and it can't hurt me. It just did? No, it didn't. Do I look hurt? Oh, Freak, because I know you're a movie fan of some amount. Um, last night I watched a pretty terrible horror movie, but then... Then I watched No Country for Old Men, which I'd never seen before, and that... That was a time. Yeah, that was that was something else. That was a time. Yeah, really good movie. Uh it's 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 a lot, Kaya. It's a lot. I they just added uh, Thought Monitor, Thought Cast, um, Darksteel Citadel, and Razor Tide Bridge, and Springleaf Drum. I think that's it. Not Mab Knight yet. Maybe someday as per Sentinel. Talisman exists too? Oh, it's in a secret layer, right? Can I keep this in the dark? I probably should not keep this in the dark. Uh, both of them, Freak. Both of them. It's nice. Oh no, more hammers. I mean, at least I have a blocker. Also, they're not set up for the turn two kill. Oh, uh, also Ornithopter is an old frame. This deck is not playing Ornithopter, but it could be. Colossus hammer to hand, oh, that's scary. The 22 Dan Fraser mana artifacts? What in the hell? Is that just a thing that he's done a lot of art for? All right, they double hammer kill me? Is this is this double, double hammer kill me? No attack? You, I, you have a hammer. That cannot have been correct, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay.
okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, Freak. It's been happening a lot least recently. Like, there's been a lot of... Uh, a lot of soft players on all sorts of different archetypes, and I don't really understand what's going on. Like, I don't think there's any particular reason, right? I... Yeah, I can see it happening, Kaya. So, yeah, they can't get through my board. So, we'll see. Oh, right. Forgot they had the construct. Oh, and they've got another hammer coming. Well, they should have spear coming in. I should just be dead here. I do want to see what they get. Oh, they're going to put a hammer on the ink pot? But I can block it. Oh, no, they can refly it, of course. Th that play they'll know somehow. Yeah, okay. Okay. Dispatch, pierce, needle. Relic out. Let's go. Let's go. It's one of those hands where it's like, I wish I was on the draw because the sequence is better. Obviously, I don't actually wish I was on the draw, but. Which portable hole had flash? Can't see my forehead. Planes? Nothing, huh? That's that's a hand. They're playing what more time? What no! Sword of Fire and Ice. Nice. I need a land. Aether Spell Bomb will do. Not like this. Not like this. I love Sword of Fire and Ice and Hammerless. Land? Shoot. Play the meme night. We have to smith for land? I don't have to. The 
Well, I can chump block if if so. If they put in the sword and then they equip it, I can chump block with a mem knight. Yeah. So I should have. I I screwed up the sequencing here. Yeah. I'm gonna smith for a land. We hit. All right. Could have been worse. Unless they already had Calder in their hand, then it's yeah okay that's fine. They just get to block with Memonite here if they if they equip it, which I don't know why they would waste their mana like that when they have an Urza Saga and if they have Pure Steel, they have no other. They don't have anywhere near Metalcraft, so this is a very questionable play. I am playing Esper, Sentinel, Pl well, no, I should play Hold, right, and get rid of this Giver. It's pretty dangerous. Play Portable Hole and Spell Bomb. Yeah. I probably should be attacking, right? They have, what, a 3-3 three, three token? I'm sorry, a 2-2 two, two token? Which spell sites should you get? There's not a particularly great spell skite. I wouldn't say there is a spell skite that's worth getting more than other spell skites. So, whichever. The group block... I don't want to play around Needle, so... And we're safe from... Oh, it had Pro-White. I forgot about... I don't know why I didn't see it until after combat. I just didn't see the little blue line. Judge Foil's nice. I like how the secret oracle has the oracle text. Is it... Oracle text? Ha! Ah. Oh, no, I think... Okay, yeah. All right, so good draw. Pretty sure this turn, though, is just play and equip Shadow Spear. Just get them under the gun. What is this? What is the secret lair spell skite? Oh, thank you. Hmm. Huh. 
Yeah, I don't I don't really like the art on that one, but uh it's not bad. Oh. All right. All right, here do I kill the paladin before that resolves? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I I I can't I literally can't play around blacksmith skill there, so Urza. Get some triggers. Go smashy. Uh oh. No. Okay. Whew. If that was Cauldra, I was going to be upsetty. Man, this is just two decks just slamming life totals back and forth. All right, I'll take 15. Sort of Fire and Ice doing big work for them. I have not heard this Remy song before, and I am a huge fan of its existence, because I remember this being on the radio. Just exclamation point SR space, followed by the name of the song you want. YouTube will search for the highest, um, could have blocked to save some, no, I could have, but, oh, because I'm going to equip it anyway. Yeah, I 100% should have done that. Sorry, I was very distracted by the, the jam. Yeah, 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 you're 100% right. Can I spin here as well? No. Uh, not quite red seven, but it's... We're getting there. So I can spin here? I might as well. I can. I might I might as well. Especially if I hit a portable hole, it's huge, right? Nope. Or a dispatch. Both would have been great. Move the items to the construct? Yeah, that maybe was the... 
Again, not not a not a combat math guy, and not even trying to think about it. I'm just smashing back and forth and hoping I eventually win. Like I'm aware that I played the Esper Sentinel and they can um shoot it with the Sword of Fire and Ice this turn. I I just I Karen, I'm just I'm just a little washed from the uh, playing the scape shift deck. I'm I'm just not. Keep hearing a loud chirping noise. Oh, it might be the mic peaking. Let's see. Is it the mic peaking? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, is it? Okay, I can pull it down. All right, that should be a little better. It's been happening for years. Whoa, I, I'm using a completely different microphone than I was before, so... Years. Giver, okay. Yeah, that makes sense for you. Looks like your audio cuts out on one side and there's chirps that have been around for a long time. Weird. Opponent missed lethal? Did they have lethal there? I don't know that they did, right? They could have added another... Three damage, but not four. It was four. I believe it. Is Weathered Wayfarer too good for modern? Well, it's in modern, so... Gonna go ahead and say no. It's in modern. I'm like 100% sure it's legal. It's a legal mod. It is a hundred percent legal. Hold on, artist weathered wayfarer. Yeah, it's in some corset. Ninth edition. There you go. So, hold on. One, two, yeah, we're gonna move stuff post combat. Hammer played it for a millisecond. There was like taxes decks that would play it, and there's a, a TDF, the transforming double face card they were playing too. That one time you're right, it was legal. Oh no. Oh. No no eclipse. No cigar to aid. Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't didn't realize this is the thing they could just do now. I mean, we just didn't didn't draw the things that we needed to draw here, unfortunately. I think if I had played this game better, I could have won it, but I just just didn't. We 2 owed Hammer last time. We lost to Hammer this time. It's all good.
Oh, we're finally on the play. We got a killer hand, too. What are these construct tokens, Kaya? Because I have not seen them, but I love a good construct token. Although I can't imagine that there's anything better than Howl's moving windmill. Botanical Sanctum. So, Living End or Living End? Got it. Nah, I'm not about these at all. Nope, not even a little bit. Not 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 for me. Oh, the ones that are holding the pills? Shauna? The, the Karn robots that are holding, like, big, big headache pills? Grief. All right, it's okay. We didn't have the Metallic Rebuke in hand yet anyway. suppositories or guns <laughs> not sure not sure which mm, i should have left the sentinel up if i draw a metallic rebuke i actually can't cast it and if they cascade they give me a draw off the sentinel yeah i uh should have thought for a second before attacking and left the sentinel back if we draw the metallic rebuke here i'm gonna be gonna be a little bit mad at myself Okay, good. Good. Not punished. They have grief and a shit ton of stuff. Yeah, we're not we're not we're not doing anything this game. Ah, playing against Living End in game one. Cage does not work. Moonlight does. That's that's a thing. Okay. So if I can cut a smith. Nettle says. There's two Smiths. Probably got into one Urza. That's fine. Let's do that. I wouldn't even really call it the same song, Mr. Poopy Butthole, but it is definitely a whole thing going on, and I am I am into it. I like this piece of art. I don't know if I'd call this the same song.
Here's my relic. Force me, baby. Do it. Do it now. Yes. Thought cast gonna cost me two next turn, and we can draw into Spell Pierce or Metallic Rebuke. Okay. Or Chalice. Hallowed Moonlight, not gonna do it. That's all good, Mr. Poop Butthole. If if you like playing Living End, it's a it's a great deck, and you you should enjoy playing it. I have no patience for playing Living End. It's it's very Living End and and Crash Cade are two decks that I have played once each. I immediately five would with them, and I have never registered them again. Because I just was like, nope, not for me just just ridiculous and i i want nothing to do with this they have only one creature in their graveyard so we could potentially beat a tiny living end oh good more lands. <laughs> we drew, we drew all the nothing this game. Prefer being the underdog playing from behind. That's definitely true. Um, it it's just also they're very much about like counterplay against hate pieces and i really do not prefer that style of gameplay i want to play with fair medium cards that are not easy to hose like playing dredge or even burn is more appealing to me than a lot of those decks This Memnite's going to go all the way. <laughs> so far, it seems like it might. I mean, Shana, when, when you have good players playing those decks well, it's not like that. Like, there's a lot more nuance to being good at those decks than any of that. I would say it's a lot more interesting than what Pioneer looks like right now with the uh, mono green and uh, red black, their whole deal. A new challenger has arrived. You haven't seen your Rhino's Guide? I have not. Man, they're getting into hard cast uh, Striped River Winder territory over there. Any anytime I could draw something that wasn't garbage, that that is would be very welcome. I, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, not a big, uh, I'm not sure what's. No way. No 
Everyone has on board. No. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Ultimate guy does run us in. Okay, let's, let's, we should zoom in more. Start here. Okay. My turn? Yes. Do I have rhinos on board? Yes. Attack with rhinos. Or no. How much mana do I have? Three or more. Can I cascade right now? Yes. Rhinos! <laughs> what if they have bigger creatures? EOT rhinos. I, I'm all about this. <laughs> it's okay. Just EOT or tomorrow, whatever bothers you. Evil laugh. <laughs> that was delightful. Thank you for sharing. Oh, thanks, Boosh. Okay, come on. We gotta draw a Hallowed Moonlight or whatever here. Although, since they're doing this on my turn, there's a good chance that. Oh, it goes before the. Oh. All right. That. That was so heartbreaking. Okay. Didn't matter. We weren't going to draw anything useful anyway. Didn't didn't matter. Just kidding. Just kidding. Nothing we did mattered. Uh, great hand again. Yeah, doing that as a playmat would be really funny. And if anyone ever told you it was um, strategic information, you could be like, listen, this is a very incomplete flowchart. Like, there, I don't think anyone could argue that this is, it would be good advice to, good advice to just follow it. Are we against Murktide? Leading on Esper Sentinel? I love leaning against Esper Sentinel against Murktide. Portable hole or monitor? Take the hole. Holy shit. Just give money to eat. Thanks for the follow, Unholy Jasper. Never heard Polythia before. Polythia? No. This is absolutely disgusting. I'm as a musician, I'm very upset by how much better these people are than me and will always be. <laughs> Holy shit. Also, apparently they got Steve Vai. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Vai. Okay, so...
to just play portable hole with spell fierce mana up. Yeah. And then we're going to just shock Hallowed Fountain and pass because uh, I don't want to get Blood Mooned out of this game. So the point is, if they Blood Moon me, I get to make the construct. Which I and then I, ha I still have white mana off the spring leaf drum because I've got two creatures. Usually they're not undressed down in the main deck, I think. I think I'm getting a second spring leaf here. Bolt. On my 4-4. Four four. Okay. Second bolt. On the sentinel. So if they have a counter spell, is it better? This is fine. This is fine. This is all fine. I counterspell my Esper Sentinel. Rough. Okay. I think it's still okay, though. Yeah, I was thinking about the Relic, too, but, like, yeah, I'm not worried about a Merc Tide at the moment, so I'm not... Alright. Probably should have played the Citadel after... casting the Smith. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... I was kind of hoping to draw a cheap artifact. Like a Sentinel or a Memnite or... There's a ton of cheap artifacts I could have drawn to there and I just didn't. Um, but here I can play Metallic Rebuke and Dispatch, so I'm pretty happy about that. Because I could think this game is kind of locked up. It's pr pretty hard for them to get through here. Yeah, like... I think that's fine. Or is it more... Yeah, that's fine.
you just you you won't be able to convince me, Shauna, to not play a version with Smith. I love Smith so much more than Patchwork Automaton can ever. I'd like to play both of them, honestly. That'd be really fun. But Smith, Smith's my gal. Smith, Smith is a Tarmogoyf that says draw a card. That's that's how I've always described it. And well, the reason why not both is because you only have so many slots. Uh, also, Smith triggers off of things entering the battlefield rather than just being cast, which is relevant with uh, Urza constructs and sagas and such. Reboot kill you? Yeah, I have lethal. Guys, I didn't miss lethal. I still have a draw step too. <laughs> Trigger. Oh no, the laser crater. Smash. Is it Norwegian? I I don't know. Oh, somebody knows. Dispatch in. Spell Pierce in. Teffrey in. Uh, the cuts are harder. Probably Urza. Polynetal sis. I cut a talisman. I don't want to cut the talismans because they've got blood moons. Maybe a memnite. Yeah. Maybe I should have pithing needle for engineered explosives. Not sure. Keeps their seven. Bad against monkey. Unless I draw an untapped white source. I keep it. If I die to monkey, we die to monkey. Shocking to nothing. Shocking to nothing. Shocking to nothing. Yeah, love that. Get ported, nerd. Just give one of these. Consider. Oh. <laughs> Let's just Okay. All right. So this hand is a dog to Blood Moon anyway. So I think I'm just going to play Saga here. And if we get Blood Moon, we get Blood Moon. It's really just nothing I can do about it here. Do it. Okay. Dodged for one turn.
What do you got? Rude. But at least they, they showed me it's coming. Resolved. Oh no. <laughs> what is best in life? To crash blue red players. To see them driven before your Urza sagas and to hear the lamentations about their top, bad top decks. Shana knows what's up. So for some reason they let me get this far into the turn. Yeah, that, that's true. There was a big no respect for Needle there. So I'm going to play the Spell Bomb. I'm assuming they're going to let this resolve. If they tap down now, it would be very strange. And then we're going to play a one-mana Thought Monitor. They're conniving. Oh, when it's good, it's so good. Okay, somehow didn't didn't find somehow didn't find a land. Very split. Because I want to play this Talisman, but I also want to keep up uh, Metallic Rebuke and or Dispatch. Okay, so we're just going to go attack, see what they do with that. Oh, sorry, uh... That's probably better. Right, right, I got you. So if they have spell pierce, they get spell pierce. You got spell pierce? Throw him in the hole. Yeah. Probably side out the pierces? Yeah. Fair. If I get Blood Moon now, it would be bad. Uh, and they kill my Thought Monitor. No, I have the Talisman. Good. Sick. God, this, this matchup feels really great. I mean, they, they played their EE kind of loose. If they hadn't shown me that they had EE at that moment, I'm pretty sure I would have made multiple constructs and they would have gotten the, the crazy wombo combo value off of that. So let's play Esper Sentinel first. Thought Monitor. The Blue-Red Killer. Oh, sick. Should play more of this then. Love killing blue red. Saga. 
Ah, oh, this song has a somebody scream in it? Yo, that's how you know it's a banger. Shoutouts to the ancient Dane Cook bit. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna, am I attacking here? Yeah, I don't have any spring leaves left. Somebody scream! I'll scream. They drew two for two. We drew two for one. They should be in fits about this. I mean, how do we know they're not? Um, I'll let the bot monitor die. Heat on my sentinel. I'm letting that one go to... Every time you trade up in mana with a blue-red player, a little kitten angel is born into this world. <laughs> and give it and give it to board to take care of. <laughs> and he screams, no. Do I want to draw a card with the spell bomb? I think so. Just feels like I'm really far ahead and I don't. I just want more threats and stuff. No, I don't. I'm not really worried about a Merc Titan anyway. You marinate the bomb. Okay. And turn it into an artisan handcrafted thought monitor? Is that the. Is that the joke? Thought monitors hunt in packs. They do hunt in, what is it, herds? They move in herds. Thought monitors move in herds. They do move in herds. There we go. Real glad Meltdown is in the format. Me too. There is gotta be something. Oh, there's um no crime punishment, isn't it? Uh there gotta be something close, right? They let me draw? Alright, let's rebuke this. Hold on, fetch an island. Shatterstorm is four mana. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's Shatterstorm. Oh, soon there's going to be, what is it, the, the Brothers Tiff? All right, Kaya and or Mord, if you're planning on streaming, I am 100% going to be ending soon so just so you know okay so make more dudes get the relic saga play to fairy destroy their world could also raid fran well of course we can I just, I'm just uh, extending the offer to my friends before uh, someone who I have a much looser association with. Fran's a great guy, but not, not literally like a really great friend of mine that I talk to all the time that I have much more of a personal investment in. Um, 
but wonderful human being. Anywho, uh, yeah, nice little 3-2 league here. Uh, we got beat up by Hammer Time in... Friends of War Brands, exactly. <laughs> we got beat up by Hammer Time in one of the rounds, and was, there was another one that was really rough. Um, I want to say it was a monkey deck, but uh, generally felt great. Apparently the blue-red killer. like playing this a lot. I like this configuration. Lack of Emery is awesome. Uh, I love Emery more than anything, but all she does is hurt me. Oh, it was Living End. That's right. That's right. And theoretically, you could beat Living End with this deck. We just had a terrible draw in Game 2. It was actually pretty close. Like, we could have beat them in Game 2 if we'd drawn less than seven lands. But we didn't. So, um, yeah. I highly recommend this as a build of kind of larger, more mid-rangey affinity stuff. Um, I don't like the, like, balls-to-the-walls affinity builds, even though they're very strong. And they're quite powerful. Anywho, if you're in the future watching this on the YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, check out any of my other videos, and let me know what you think of this one in the comments below. For those who are live,